In the last couple of days, we heard a lot about creator's intent. And to be very honest, I can't hear it anymore. And this comes from someone who is actually calibrating and yeah, really into this material, actually into this technology of calibrating screens, TVs. And even I worked for a couple of years in the broadcast industry and I calibrated professional LCD monitors for yeah, broadcast studios. So I have a little bit of an idea how our accurate picture should look like. And yeah, again, I admit I like an accurate picture when it comes to, to movies, to series, and also, of course, to games. And I fully understand that creator's intent doesn't mean necessarily that a picture or a game or a movie is looking like in real life. But what the developer or yeah, the creator of Starfield have done in terms of um, yeah, visual quality or visual changes to the picture is, in my opinion, just awful. Not wrong, because it was done on, yeah, on purpose, as far as I can tell, because this mod, what we're looking at, is actually, in my opinion, a quite simple one, which helps a lot. And that's why I like to promote this mod here. Um, I know there are a lot of, of different uh, modes or reshades or, or yeah, whatever uh, mods out there which actually also adding HDR to the game. But what I like to do here is actually make a very simple solution for everyone to actually increase the SDR picture quality. And why just SDR at the moment is quite simple. I'm still hoping for some updates, patches, fixes, whatever you want to call it. Because Bethesda, as far as I understand, they're actually looking into an issue with HDR. I'm not quite sure if this is related to Xbox or to PC, because on the Xbox series, we have actually native HDR. But, and this counts for my PC, but so far, as I understand, many people having the problem, there is no native HDR support on the PC. The other day I was actually able to start Starfield on the PC in Auto HDR or with Auto HDR, but that's not native HDR. That's why I don't like to recommend to use it at the moment. So what I also like or what I'm also hoping for is some settings in terms of, yeah, let's say contrast, brightness, gamma, maybe color, something like that. Because right now we have no settings at all, not on the Xbox and not on the PC version. There is literally no way to change the picture quality. And right now at the moment, I'm watching actually my side by side comparison as well. And what I can just see is I can see what the creator's intent was to make it a little bit more, yeah, more filmic, movie like, you know what I mean? It, and at some point in some areas, locations, you can actually see it looks not too bad, but overall it's of course terrible because we have this crazy black level rays, even in SDR, which just destroys the whole picture. And everything looks just very, very dull and, and yeah, just wrong in my opinion. I get what the creators actually like to do or what the plan was to make it a little bit more sci-fi, you know, a little bit older, maybe something like that. But it is just too much in my opinion, because we still should have black. We should have contrast, you know, at least some sort of contrast. I mean, when we're just looking at lights or, or yeah, bright objects, you can actually see how dull they are compared to the yeah, um, mod version. This is something which I really don't like on the uh, without mod version. It just looks so dull, so wrong, so ugly in my opinion. Uh, yeah, there's just one way at the moment for me personally to enjoy the game and that's with mod.
And this example here is actually a very good example. I don't like the unpatched version or the unmodded version at all because it is just wrong in my opinion. I mean, we are going into this cave or whatever you call this and we just have a flashlight. How can it be that it looks so washed out in real? It, it will never be like that. And even you like to have some sort of a filmic look or movie like look, it wouldn't be like that. To be very honest, this is just terrible wrong in my opinion. And one very weird thing is that this very washed out picture is literally just doing gameplay. When you have a, yeah, a sequence or like this or um, 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 cutscene, then there is no washed out look. But as soon you jump into real gameplay, like you see here, it is just terrible washed out. And that's something I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. A little bit of a yeah, filmic look, maybe a, how should I say, maybe a crane or something like that. It is absolutely okay. But washing out a picture like this and putting a green filter on it, I think that's a little bit too much. And here at the end, just a couple of more examples why I like the version with mod. It just looks more realistic. There is no way that a uh, picture or I, let's say like this, I just don't like it, this greenish washed out look. I don't like it. I can understand where they're coming from, but it's just too much. Okay. And just putting a filter over the whole picture is in my opinion, just completely wrong. If you need something or if you like to have something like that, then maybe you should um, use it in certain areas, you know, but not like you can see here, just put it over the whole picture and make everything look absolutely worse. Okay, my friends, so that's it for me and I say thank you very much for watching me and I see you guys next time. Bye.